Well, it seems like the day of the electric car has arrived. It's no longer stuck in science fiction books or in the distant future. It's here and now, like this Renault Fluence ZE, zero emission, all electric vehicle from Renault, which is going on sale in Paris this very year. How does it handle costs? How does it drive? Well, that's what we're going to find out right now. Unlike other pure electric cars, the Fluence Z looks like a regular car. You can't even make out that it's actually 13 centimeters longer than the regular Fluence. Sure, there are a few different touches, like the chrome highlights on the grille. The rear tail lamps also get a mesh effect with LEDs for a sci-fi look. It's when you get under the skin that you'll see a lot of cables and an alien looking motor where the engine would normally be. The single motor takes care of propulsion. On the outside, there is a charging point for this motor for added convenience. However, the ZE buyer will have to compromise on boot space because there's a hefty 22 kilowatt hour battery pack eating into the otherwise huge boot. Luckily, you don't have to make any compromises inside the cabin. It is properly spacious. But how does the Fluent ZE drive? Well, it's quite straightforward. Like uh, an automatic gearbox, you put your right foot on the brake pedal and you do the same as to start a traditional car. You have a green light. Okay. You have the, the small noise to tell you something happened. Right. Now the car is ready to go. Drive position. Remove the handbrake. And here we go. What's unnerving is the silence. It takes some getting used to. Suddenly everything seems a lot noisier, like the tires, the wind and even the sound of the indicator. As I drove around, it was evident that there was ample performance on tap. But how's that possible? After all, the Fluence ZE weighs 200 kilos more than the Fluence and it has only 95 bhp of power from its electric motor. Well, it's all because it's got 23.4 kilograms of torque that makes progress effortless. Renault claims a real-world driving range of 160 kilometers. But if you stick the driving mode needle too much in the red zone or use the electric compressor-driven air conditioning system, the range will surely drop. However, to increase driving range, the brakes keep topping up the batteries every time you brake. Actually, the regeneration process starts as soon as you lift off the accelerator and start slowing the car down. As a result, the fluence doesn't coast down the road like a normal car would. The additional weight in the Fluent Z has affected the ride quality. While on smooth roads, it still feels pliant and comfortable. Over rougher roads, over bumps and potholes, it does feel a bit lumpy and thuds through it all. On the driving front, the light steering makes it easy to steer around. Though there isn't much by way of feedback or involvement. However, what makes the Fluent Z truly a landmark electric car is its flexibility. On a normal day, the battery pack can be recharged through the regular electric plug points at home in 6 to 8 hours. If you install a special charging system, the batteries can be completely charged in 30 minutes as well. But the coolest and the most interesting option is the quick drop system. In this, the car is driven through an electric car's equivalent of a petrol pump. Once in the specified bay, a mechanized system rises from a chamber under the ground. It unfastens the depleted battery pack from underneath and replaces it with a fully charged battery pack. The switch takes about the same time as getting a tank of gas. So, the only problem that would remain in this is the cost of the batteries. However, Renault has found a way around that to make the price very attractive. The Fluence will be priced at the same lead price level that the gasoline car. Uh, the only difference is that the, the battery will be leased. The battery lease for the Fluence will cost 79 euros in Europe per month. Apart from reducing the impact on the environment, 
Renault claimed that the Fluent ZE will be more affordable for the user as well. With the current systems we will have is if you take an average of 12,000 kilometers per year, you will have a, a cost which will be 20% less than a, a gasoline one. Well, the Fluent Z, it is a credible alternative to gasoline engine cars or diesel engine cars of today because it has a decent commuting range of about 160 kilometers under ideal conditions, of course, but that will still be more than enough for most people for their daily commute. And the second aspect, the biggest aspect, according to me, has been cost. And a big chunk of that has been taken out by Renault because you no longer buy the batteries, the most expensive part of an electric car. You lease them. So on a cost and a yearly ownership basis, you can actually save money buying an electric car. So you're going to be asking, when is this coming to India, right? Well, it's going to be a long time because it's going to need infrastructure and governmental support. But for the people here in Europe, this is a very good option to a cleaner, greener future.